Nigga. Hey, what is up, guys? It is I, PC Geekish. And Merry Christmas to you all and a happy holidays. Because today, War Thunder has uh, released its update of 1.37 with all its Christmassy background. And it's new GUI. GUI stands for Graphical User Interface. And those for the people who don't know what it means, there you are. And what are the differences? There are significant differences. Now you can research items. And to me, the big shocking thing is now we have M10 bazookas strapped on our planes. And you know what bazookas are. They're basically law rockets. Six of them strapped onto your plane. And these things have a lot of negative downside effects to the um, to the P-39, so my recommendation is that you do not use it. Unless you're like a freaking A-10 war- Um, freaking- Yeah, you're- Unless you're fly like a freaking A-10 pilot, then you're good. Or F an F-15, you know, boom and zoom pilot, an A-10 pilot, any of these planes. Um... Yeah, anyways, so there's not much difference between the planes, and but what really takes a bite at my ass at this point is the P-51. Um, in the previous version of the um, War Thunder, the price of the P-51 was 38 grand. No, 38,000. 3,800 grand. And now it's 4,400. 4, I'm like, no, no, no. Yes, 4,400. And I'm like, okay, Gaijin, what are you doing? Are you screwing up? Are you screwing us up in the ass? Something like that? I don't get the logic, alright? And uh, I think the Americans do have a chance of winning a lot of tier 4 battles, especially the Bearcats. These planes are actually quite significant if you think about it because of its ammo capacity and its tankiness because it's hard to shoot down sometimes. Unless you have like 37 millimeter cannons, then yes, these planes are screwed. Anyways, back on topic. Um, what else is different? Um, the tiers, they have condensed the 20 tier plane into a 5 tier, and to me, I think this is a bit of a crazy situation, cause there are chances where you will go against planes that are in a higher tier than you are, and you will go against planes that are in a lower tier than you are. And what is my recommendation? My recommendation is that you, if you're, you know, a little bit of an average War Thunder player, my recommendation is that you study your planes. And that is a big yup yup for me, because if you don't study your planes, you will not know what's going to be ahead of you. As you will see, I'm going against tier 3 because that's my highest rank. I have uh, 3 tier 3 web, um, planes, and you'll be like, well, you have a tier 2 plane, would you want to scrub that out for something else? No, 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 you're getting it all wrong. P-39, brush it off the shoulder, bro. I got this. The P-38G, I'm feeling a little confident with as well because of its ultimate accuracy and its, you know, poning cannon. Even though it has 150 ammo and only has one cannon, but it's actually quite decent. It's quite decent. Um, what else? The 12.7mm machine guns, those things are alright. They're, the 50 cals were quite decent. And, uh... I'm gonna get the Corsair, possibly, maybe not, maybe, should I not? No, I'm not gonna get the Corsair. I'm gonna get the P-51, that's what I'm gonna get. And then, um, I'm gonna continue on the jet tier, I'm gonna get my shooting star, and I'm gonna be so happy. So, we are not too far away from getting a, whatchamacall, a P-50, P, uh, Mustang. And what I mean by far, not, not that far away is like 100 games away. And, uh... For all those money whores out there, if you guys are money whores, you can actually convert your plane XP, which I won't be doing, because I don't like to. And so, um, all that crazy stuff is on. What else is on? Oh yes, research for not only planes, not only you have to research for planes, but you also have to research for, you know, certain amount of parts. Of its of the plane that you are currently using, and uh, if you like to research this pl part of the um, plane, you can only research one of the time. So it kind of it kind of makes it so that you know the game is kind of balanced. It makes it long lasting, and it also um, kind of prevents you from like, oh my god, I just got ten kills, and I'm gonna unlock all three of them at the same time, <laughs> and I'm gonna install all of them. No, that's not how it works in this update. In this update, you can only research one, only one. 
until this is complete and you install this, you can research the other one. Well, you don't have to install it, but you know, that's just what I would do. I think everyone would. So yeah, once you just completed, complete researching the upgrade, then you're probably, you know, good to go to research another upgrade. And that's how it's rolling. Alright, so let's just quit chitter chattering and just get to an arcade battle with the Americans. And next episode we'll be doing with the British. I've been saying that for a little while now, but I can't keep my promise. I really want to, you know, play with the Americans. Oh, we're gonna play in Rice Terraces. How interesting. Alright, bring it on. Cause I'm ready to take all of y'all. Alright, so... First question comes in my mind, which plane should I sacrifice first in the battlefield? My team need all the best pilots they can get, and uh, pilots, looks like my job here is to send out the P-38G. The lightning, I mean, like, it, the lightning bolt or lightning strike, I really would just want to fly it around because of its good accuracy and you start mowing some people down. And I hope maybe that happens. Holy crap, condensation and precipitation while you're in the air. Oh, I think they changed the rain effects as well. You can see it's more um, greenish um, if you pay attention. It looks so realistic. Anyways, let's keep our angle. No, not 30 degrees. We'll probably want to head up to about it. Alright, so. The little um, gray thingy right there, this gray thingy that you're seeing is our prograde vector. And our prograde vector is the he the direction where we're heading. So just because we're pointing 15 degrees upwards doesn't mean we're going exactly 15 degrees upwards. We're actually going 10 degrees because that's how physics work and the amount of the gravitational pull that Earth is giving us also affects the, um, you know, our thingy um, where our project, our, um, prograde vector goes and you know that's physics I don't think I'll have to explain any further watch my KSP video if you're willing to learn holy shit all right oh I'm a little bit too oh I'm dead because this thing is whack shit when it comes to freaking strength all right I'm gonna do an S loop wait no this is not even I'm just gonna do a loop loop de loop oh I'm confused all right what am I going for I don't even know anymore Alright, I'm gonna go for this guy. Law 5. Unfortunately, I can't. Who was trying to shoot through me? Oh! And you know what I like about the, um, the P-38? If you guys can focus closely, there will be like a huge gap in between the elevator and the hull. And you will notice sometimes it will go through the hull, and it will be as beating for your enemies sometimes. So, yeah, you see, I just saw a bullet just fly past the hull. Like... In between the gap where the um, the elevators are, and oh, we got a freaking La Five cannon up in there. We need to do some evasive maneuvers. Oh no, it's not a La, it's a Yak. Never mind. All right. Well. Are we still in India? Yeah. I don't want to leave this country. Come on, you have to force me. And what I don't like about arcade battles is that it forces you to literally exit your cockpit. Like, I just want to exit the cockpit whenever I want to. You can't force me to exit my cockpit straight away. So, yes. That is expected by the P3D. I'm not surprised. It's weak. Um, hull-wise, it will get shot down easily. And most of the times, they will aim for you. And I, I swear I just saw a freaking P39 somewhere. Man, what a noob. Why, why would he use P39? Tell me. Oh my god, this guy is... That P-39 better be fully upgraded, because otherwise, it's not gonna match. It's not gonna match up, bro. Got no skills. Combat flaps. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, why am I freaking gameplay lagging as hell? Alright, please don't lag. Please don't lag. Oh, freaking 15 FPS. Holy crap. Good. Oh shit, BF109, you better watch your fire, boy. You don't want to hit me, do you? Alright. Fly across the mountain. We have a, a, we have a Yak-7, a P-39. Oh my. How many noobs are there in this game? 
holy sh- as, as if I'm feeling this game is just a complete waste of time. Freaking noobs with the P39s, man. These guys have to uninstall. Holy crap, we used the P39 at this point. This, this guy's utter shit. Oh my god, just wasting my time. God, it uses a P39 man. That's that thing is so obsolete if you think about it. The only way you're gonna get away with a P39 when you're alive is when it either is fully upgraded and you know what to do with it and you know how to fly. Oh! Never mind. So as long as you know how to fly the P39, you know, you're golden, but if you don't know how to fly the P39 exactly, just like that guy that I just shot down, um, then you know you're pretty much dead. Because it is quite a harsh plane if you think about it. Um, because of its turn time, especially when it stops fully upgrade. If you don't fully upgrade the P39, your ass is gonna get chased by a bunch of Russian planes, maybe even American planes as well. But still, not a good idea if you don't have a fully upgraded P39 or you don't even know how to use the P39 in the first place. And, uh, yes, maybe I need to change my uh, priority for this game. The graphics are on low, priority is set to like high or something. I think I set it to high, I set it to low. I don't even remember. I hope the priorities are set to high because I can't freaking play 20 FPS in this game. And this is the only interesting map. This is the only interesting map that I, my, my freaking bandy can't hate for some reason. It hates, it hates Rice Terrace, it, it just lags like this, as you guys can observe closely. It lags. Holy fucking shit, the freaking cannons. Fucking cannons! Would you stop lagging? Fuck! My god, my, mother f I will kill you. You, you are not escaping me, bitch. You are my bitch now. You were my bitch. There we go. Freaking you, dumbass! Oh my! Holy shit! That fucking who was that? Who had that A6M? Whatever. It was like a Japanese plane. Oh my god! I freaking who's this kid? Complain. Not foul language. Abuse. He's using his sharp and wing to cut my arrow towards him on purpose. Why do people are kill whores nowadays. There we go. That's a perfect letter for Gaijin to read. And I got that on video footage too, Gaijin, so if you'd like to watch my video and you could skip to the part wherever he ran me, feel free. Freaking Japanese planes, man, they will cut through anything. Like, I've seen a lot of artworks and steam and gifs and videos on how Japanese planes have like like wings that are as sharp as katanas. I'm not even sure if Gaijin is trying to make it as stere stereotypical as possible, but it's quite weird. Because it just never breaks every time when you hit... Okay, you can shoot it once with a cannon and it breaks, but you can't... When you hit it into like a freaking Empire State Building or something, then it's, you know, not gonna break. So basically, the Japanese have basically invented a plane that could probably make 9-11 times like a thousand. In which point that the plane will not destroy, it will not be destroyed, it will just continue flying. And I hate this plane, I'm going to murder it. Yeah. Yeah. You're not escaping the wrath. Hallelujah! Dang on Nazi bandits. Come on, come on, bro. Come on, come on. No! No! I do better than this, Connor. Come on, Connor. Connor, the lags may the lag be with you. Come on. Why is the machine gun's the only thing that's hitting it? 
<laughs> Come on, Connor. Dang it, Connor, stop shooting your tail. Connor, get him fast. Ah. Connor, you have two planes in front of you. Who to go for? The plane that's closer to you, of course, Connor. Connor, Connor, God dang it, Connor. God dang it, Connor. <laughs> Looks safe, Connor. Skill it! Freaking lag. Oh my. I'm a freaking. I hate this game. You know, I don't hate the game, but I hate the map Rice Terrace. Look at this. It just lags. Well, oh, now it doesn't lag. Oh, now it doesn't lag. Oh, great. Now it doesn't lag. This is my P39. What? I didn't even realize that I'm using my P39. Oh my god, this thing has such an amazing climb rate. Ha! Ah, beat that. You can't out climb me through the mountains. I'm trying to gain as much as energy as I can as possible. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Do -do -do -do. Don't talk about it, bitch. Ah, suck it. Let the mountains protect me. Oh, shit. I think, I think it's still... Oh, he crashed into the mountains. Take that! You can't outclimb a P39, man. This is what I mean by players who know how to use a P39. Because if you don't know how to use it, then you're screwed. Obviously. So as long as you know how to use the P39 properly, you are not screwed. So I'm just going to land this thing in the base. As it is my only option after... Alright, oh, uh, is it still lagging? Oh, 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 now it's not lagging. Good. That's good. It's because of there's not enough players. Oh, we lost. Anyways, it was been a good game. Holy crap. I just outclimbed that motherfucker and that guy just crashed into the mouth. I could hear that crashing noise. If you guys can replay that footage, you will hear crashing noises. And holy crap. It's a good game, you know? How much research points? Vehicle research, 87%. That is not good enough. But hey! Anton Bazooka getting close. And uh, what I really like to do is that my P-51, I really want it. And I think it deserves more research point than this. How do I... Okay, so... Obviously, you have to be... You have to have... Oh my god, that's so much... Oh, jeez. 1,858. Man, you can get that in like 100 games or 300 games with this thing. Holy crap. Anyways, uh, I'm not gonna end it there yet. Not yet. Uh, I feel like we're missing one game. I always do. And uh, I guess we can do this by the next episode. We'll be right in like. <laughs> next episode will be like tomorrow or something. Or tonight. Maybe tonight, right? And, uh... I'm gonna first adjust my fraps so it doesn't screw me up anymore. And, uh, this has been a PC Geekish. Uh, I hope you all will have a wonderful evening. And, peace out.